What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the second episode of season 3 of the Liverpool Carrier Bone Show and we have a super exciting episode for you guys because we will play Tottenham, Manchester United, Arsenal in this episode. Thank you so much for your awesome support on season 2 and also comment of the day goes out to these guys who said some awesome things on the previous episode so thank you so much. Tottenham made two absolutely crazy transfers. They sold Bergwijn to Inter, but they signed Rodri from Man City. That's their best defensive midfielder, Manchester City, and they sold him. To Tottenham that is absolutely crazy and look at what a crazy good team Tottenham built they signed Romagnoli, Schule, Carvajal, Castells, Rodri and Zakaria and Correa so seven new signings in their team who are all better than Tottenham's regular team was that is crazy that is an absolutely big big improvement so this will be one hell of a big game Liverpool against Spurs it is a fixture that on paper is always attractive welcome Welcome to Anfield, the curtain raiser of the Premier League season. You always want to get off to a good start, but considering that we play Tottenham, Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea and Everton in the first five fixtures, and then we play Crystal Palace and Man City, I mean, if we could get maybe four or five wins from these first seven games, that would be terrific. Yes, Van Dijk. Brilliant. Money. And look at this. Nobby Keito! Oh! What, what, what a start to the season in the Premier League. We get off to a flyer just like in the Community Shield. With pretty much our first attack, we take the lead and Nabi Keita will have a big, big part to play. He's one of the defensive midfielders that I expect goals from and he delivers in the first game before that Tottenham player could block Nabi Keita's shot and Castellas just can't get to that side of the goal. Mourinho is in the mud. See you later, Mourinho. Go, Mane. Mane! And Holland! Oh, that was almost 2 0. And, and money. Money. He finds Holland. Oh, go on. And money! Oh, it's blocked. These auto blocks, man. And Tottenham are playing a very, very dangerous game. Go on, money. Holland to Salah! Yes! Salah punishes Tottenham who plays a dangerous game and we are turning off in such a big opening Premier League picture to beat one of our title rivals Tottenham in the first day on the first day of the season would be absolutely epic and so far so good Haaland holds the ball up and then he finds Salah who even takes the touch and then buries it Salah 2-2 two two games this guy is unplayable honestly what a finish no Ooh, Harry Kane, almost, uh, I mean, he dispossessed Joe Gomez, I think, who was, oh, go on, Salah, and Salah is in behind, Salah is in behind, nobody is catching Salah, no, Romagnoli is catching Salah, come on, I want to score a corner goal, Van Dijk, oh, they clear it off the line, don't let him in, Harry Kane, Carvajal, Back to Harry Kane, and he scores at the near post, Alisson, that's your post, that's you should cover the near post, I went to cover the middle of the goal with Joe Gomez, so if Harry Kane score, shoots at the far post, that's covered, but he shoots near post, that's Alisson's, and he doesn't keep it out. Let's bring on Konate, so he makes his Premier League debut, I'm also bringing on Jota, and Simikas is also coming on. Timikas steps on it. Fabinho. And Holland! Oh, Castell saves it. Maybe I could have made another skill move. Oh, that was really stupid. Because now Van Dijk has to run back. It's a foot race. Thankfully, there is nobody back. 
Oh, that was a piece of cake for Alison. Yes, we have beaten Jose Mourinho's Tottenham. What a big, big result to start the season. I can't tell you how important it is to get off to a good start, especially because we have some incredibly hard games coming up. And I mean, I wasn't that comfortable that the statistics suggest. We actually defended pretty well against Tottenham, but because we didn't take most of our chances, uh, I mean some of our chances, Tottenham were always in this game, but we restricted them to, to just one shot, which Harry Kane of course scored from. Naby Keita was the man of the match with an 8.8 .8 rating. And this win is massive because now we are three points ahead of Tottenham and Arsenal already, who both lost in the opening day. Great news, Andy Robertson went up in rating, so he's now an 89 rated left back, absolutely brilliant, and he still has a good 4 or 5 years ahead of him. And McKeown agreed to a 2 year loan move to AC Milan, so I wish him good luck and I hopefully he comes back a much better player when his loan move is up. And I'm playing my strongest possible lineup, I think. Firmino and Luis Alberto are two great attacking midfielders. Let's, uh, let's hope that we can win at Old Trafford. What a way it would be to continue our great start to the season after beating Tottenham. But this is going to be a one hell of a difficult game. It is a rivalry that speaks for itself. They're certainly the two most successful teams with passionate fans. Hi from Old Trafford as Manchester United face Liverpool. Welcome to Old Trafford. This is the venue where we played the Champions League final and ultimately we lost to Real Madrid in extra time. But last season we won here in the Champions League and in the Premier League. So Man United must be absolutely dreading facing the three time in a row Premier League champions because Liverpool won it in real life and then I won it twice on career mode the Premier League title so let's keep that run going and Robertson but Robertson is there oh that's a good pass from the back to Martial oh my goodness gracious me Man United just completely outpassed my defense that was a quite brilliant team play goal I'm not gonna lie sometimes you just have to hold your hand up and say that's a great goal Bruno Fernandes of course who else the talisman of Man United that oh that last pass was a killer that completely took me by surprise and Joe Gomez as well I mean what is Gomez doing going the other way come on Liverpool wake up this is the big wake-up call sooner or later it was bound to happen we we can't always keep a clean sheet at Old Trafford we kept two I think in our last two games here go on Salah Mo Salah oh it's the post oh, we just don't have any luck ah oh, Mo Salah should have scored that is so unlucky Oh my goodness, Man United are applying so much pressure. No! I press the clearance with Joe Gomez. And he loses the ball in, the, in our own box. And that's never a good thing. I press the clearance with Joe Gomez, but Man United counter pressed straight away when I got the ball here. Gomez just, he did, does the kick animation, but he turned the wrong way. And straight away, we lose the ball and Man United are 2 0 up. This is not a good start to this game. Wow, early on, 34th minute already, and we are 2 0 down. We have a mountain to climb here, guys. Martial, Bruno Fernandez, great block, and Martial's shot is saved by Alisson. Damn. Let's bring on Diogo Jota, Nabi Keita, and also Ozan Kabak. I'm putting Joe Gomez at right back. Trent is a little bit tired. And I need I need a goal and quickly, otherwise this game will go away from us. Oh, come on! Great great clearance. No way. Oh my goodness. Man United keep pushing, keep creating chances. Come on. Are you? Oh my goodness gracious me! What? As if there, there is everywhere a Man United player. How is that not a foul? Oh my goodness gracious me, the Man United have another chance. And I just cannot, every time I try to bring the ball out from the back, 
I get dispossessed or I get high pressed, this Man United team is absolutely relentlessly pressing me and I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I can't even... Oh wow! There are huge question marks now over the mentality of this Liverpool team because uh, they looked like they didn't want it today. They looked like a team who are happy with just two Premier League titles in a row and we didn't play like champions. We played absolutely terribly. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm lucky to only lose 2 nil because look at the stats. This was probably my worst game on FIFA 21 in the whole season. Man United absolutely battered off and I'm not gonna lie, it was my fault because I just tried playing out from the back that's how Liverpool play and we got punished time and time again and uh, it says it all that Alisson was our best player he made 9 saves and catches while Alisson was the man of the match and that says it all that uh, our goalkeeper was the man of the match I have to give credit to Man United as I'm saying in my post-match interview they were just better in every department we were second best throughout the whole game can't even complain about the result it's very early in the season but we are already six points behind Man City who played one more game than us they won every single game just like Chelsea and Man United so this defeat to Man United really hurts but I can't complain I was not good enough and Arsenal are also struggling they are at the bottom of the table Arsenal lost their to first two games to be fair it was to Chelsea and to another big team I think we only just beat Arsenal with a last minute goal in the Community Shield final but I think we have a better team than them Jota and Wilson is coming in to the side because we need more firepower I come to Anfield let's keep our winning run going at least at home we won against uh, Tottenham on the opening day of the season and this is a huge game already in the season we cannot afford to lose or draw against Arsenal because after that we play Chelsea that's another very very tough game I see Haaland Wilson Wilson surely he can score yeah! And we are up and running against Arsenal. Finally, one of our midfielders scores their chance. Harry Wilson. This kid was a goal scorer last season and he continues his rich goal scoring form this season as well. Haaland, I was just waiting for somebody to make a run and Harry Wilson does that and what a great finish. That's his first goal of the season. He's up and running. Brilliant. No, oh my goodness, that is absolutely incredible. From an absolutely insane long ball, Milik heads it past Van Dijk and past Alisson. That is classic route one football, but how? From his own half, Thomas Partey, under pressure, puts an absolutely incredibly accurate pass onto Milik's head. I mean, how does this happen? Why isn't Van Dijk jumping? Why did Van Dijk not jump? That would never happen in real life, but this is FIFA and oh man, I, I'm annoyed by that goal. Really? Oh my, what? As if Jaka would go past me like that. Look at Wilson. Wilson again goes in and Harry Wilson has done it once again. That's two goals for Harry Wilson against Arsenal in the first half. Brilliant. He has the finishing to put those chances away and the Liverpool fans are loving it. Mane just waited for Wilson to run forward and that is a great finish into the top corner. And Milik stands over with the free kick. And oh! Milik puts it in! What a free kick! Absolutely incredible! Honestly, Arsenal scored two goals from two chances and Milik has world-class finishing. I mean, I have a guy on the line. I tried to head it with him. It, it wasn't the tallest player, Harry Wilson, and that, it cost us a goal. But I couldn't switch over to another player to put on the line, so I had to go with Harry Wilson. Milik single-handedly saves Arsenal here. Money to Holland! Wow, Leno saves it. And look at Trent. 
going in, and Salah, Salah, he has gone in, Mo Salah, oh, let's go into the Liverpool fans to celebrate, ah, let's high five everyone, come on Salah, we absolutely have to beat Arsenal here to punish them really, because we are under pressure in the title race already, Man City are 6 points ahead of us, so we absolutely have to win this to cut the gap to three. And Salah is on fire once again this season. That's already his second goal. I'm bringing on um, Nabil Fakir, Nabil Keita and also Konate comes on just to get some minutes under his belt. Joe Gomez goes out to right back. Concentration. Asking the referee how long to go. Looking over at the bench. Stay go on, Haaland. Oh, I timed that perfectly. Haaland to win the game. Eric Haaland! He seals it! It's 4-2! Arsenal are done! And we get a massive 3 points in the title race this early on. We can't afford to fall too far away from Manchester City. Great finish by Haaland. Well done. Oh, that's his first goal of the season and what a big one that is. That seals the 3 points against Arsenal. No! Oh my goodness! I can't, I just cannot believe this. Milik gets a hat-trick and he's scoring the most ridiculous goals in this game. What is happening? Milik just scored a hat-trick at Anfield and I mean this is just unlucky. Alisson parries it straight back to Milik who just lops him with a header. But his first two goals were even more ridiculous than this. Unbelievable. What a thrilling game this was. Milik got the match ball but thankfully we managed to score more goals than Milik. It was Liverpool against Milik in this one and I mean Harry Wilson and got two goals he was one of the best players on the pitch but no it was actually Erling Haaland who was our best player but I think the man of the match was Milik with three goals that was an incredible performance by Milik and Everton did us a massive favor they beat Manchester United 3-2 that must have been another thriller so and Chelsea won as well so Chelsea Man City are the only two teams with a 100% record and we we played Chelsea next in the next episode so that is going to be epic and we bounced back from that Man United defeat but wow that Arsenal game was an absolute epic ride uh, Tottenham also won so yeah the only big team struggling this season is Arsenal we inflicted further misery on them by uh, beating them but to be fair Arsenal also played three big teams they played Man United Chelsea and Liverpool so Arsenal also had a really really tough uh, draw so far and Gonzalez, the former Stuttgart Argentinian player, actually is the top scorer of the Premier League. Pretty impressive. And Alari also with Sheffield United scores uh, three goals in three. So it looks like Ryan Brewster might not get the game time at Sheffield United to really develop and further, further his career. And I know it's very early on, but Salah is already our top scorer. Harry Wilson also has two in one game. So I think I will play Harry Wilson a little bit more. Haaland also has two. And the next episode is going to be a cracker as well. We play Chelsea and then we play Everton and Crystal Palace. So really looking forward to that as well. And oh wow, the European qualifiers have been drawn and we face France and Portugal. That is going to be almost impossible to qualify from this group. But I will try my best of course. Bulgaria, Hungary and the Czech Republic are kind of beatable but this Scotland team is not any good so it's going to be an absolute struggle to actually qualify ahead of France and Portugal but I will try my best we will see what happens and thanks for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed it have a nice day see you later Goodbye.